Hello, welcome to this video. Here we'll be talking about how to set up the monitors on a Linux server. So if you haven't watched the videos, the last video, which was on how to set up the monitor locally, please watch that before you watch this because we'll be using some of those concepts here. So with this, we need to first have a Linux server. There are a few different places where you can get these. Um, one very good place, which I would recommend is getting it from this website here. I'll put the link in the description. The reason is these are probably one of the cheapest I've ever found. Uh, for a pound a month you can put up quite a few monitors on this. So once you've got this you'll be given a, uh, a username and a host IP and then you can just start uh, using it from there. So what you want to do is uh, open up command prompt or terminal depending on if you're using Windows, Linux or Mac OS. So I'm using Windows so command prompt it is. Um, and what we're going to use is the SSH command. This establishes the connection between two hosts. So we're going to establish the connection to our virtual private server. So the way you use it is SSH and then you have your username here and your, I your host IP. So this is going to be host IP. And once I click enter, it'll then give me, um, it'll tell me to put in a password. You'll be given a password when you sign up to one of these uh, server providers. And um, then you start using it from there. So I'm going to do this on the other screen. So just give me a second. Once you've done that, you've now established the connection to your server. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you've established the connection to your server is you want to update everything. So. The way you do that is sudo apt update. So now it's just updating everything, security wise, literally everything. So very simple, that's the first step. Next step, you wanna download and install Python. So what we wanna do is we wanna install Python and pip onto our server. So the way we do that is sudo apt get install python and we get 3 python 3.8. So I was reading, downloading, I've already got it, and there we go. So now we can check our Python version. Sometimes you want to write Python 3, sometimes you Python, Python version, Python 3.85. pip, dash dash, version, ah, pip 3. Perfect, there we go. So now we've got Python and pip installed. Now we've got Python and Pip. So you've already, you should have already cloned or downloaded the uh, Steve monitors from GitHub. I've got them here. If you haven't done that already, or you don't know how to, I've actually covered a bit of that in the last video. Uh, that should be uh, very, very straightforward. So all we want to do is now edit the .m files. So one way you can do that is literally go in and edit these. You should just open in Notepad, and then you copy and paste your uh, your webhook URL into into this section here like this but uh, I'm not going to do this here because uh, you want to try and keep that private because if anyone gets your webhook URL they can start pushing as many things as they want sending as many messages as they want so once you've done that and you've saved it and you've done it with all the monitors here what we can do is uh, use FileZilla. So let me open up FileZilla. I'll put a link to this in the description. Uh, this is just a, a very secure way to transfer files across. Um, so the way to establish a connection here is you would open the site manager, uh, new site, which I've already done, put in your host, uh, your root, I mean, I mean your, your username and your password. Mine's root because it's the main uh, main user and you click connect oh connect okay and there we go so I've already used this already previously to put in my monitor so there they are but what you can literally do is just drag and drop these in here I'm not gonna do that because I've already got them there and I don't want them to clash so there we go I've got them there once it's once it's in you can just close this so to check if it's there we can literally go ls because this is linux uh this works slightly differently to windows this is a similar commands to how you would have it these are similar commands to mac as well 
So LS, there we go. There's the uh, sneaky monitor, uh, sneaky monitor directory. Go into there. CD. CD change directory. Our sneakers monitors. There we go. Check what's in there. So what we want to do now is install all the dependencies. So we can see the requirements.txt file. So like we did in the last video, pip install dash r requirements.txt. Um, for me, it should all be satisfied. Yeah, but you may have a few downloads, uh, download bars showing that all the um, all the dependencies are being installed. look so we got a readme a shopify log because it's already running and the shopify monitor uh, so if you just want to run one uh, so if you just want to run one monitor on your linux uh, server what you can do is literally just type in python 3 shopify shopify monitor.py and that should just start running but we want to do something slightly differently. We want to have multiple instances and multiple monitors running on our, on our server. The way, you do the, the way you do this is using the screen command. So screen is a functionality in, Py, in, um, in Linux which allows you to have multiple instances running. So the way you do that, you first need to install it. So you want to do sudo apt install screen. So for me, it's already there. It's already the newest version. I've already got it. Uh, once you've got screen, the way you use it is you type in screen dash s, and then you can type in a name for your screen. So this is just a name for an instance. So I want to call this my my sh my Shopify. I'm going to call it my Shopify. So now we're inside it. My Shopify, the the instance. We're in the Shopify directory as we were previously, so what I can just do is type in Python 3 and start running the, the, uh, the monitor. What we should get is starting monitor and it should send uh, a payload. So if I check Shopify, there we go, it's already running. This is at 429 times 429, it happened just now. Perfect. Now it's running and we just want to leave it running so we don't want to touch it. Where you kind of exit out of this is you hit Control A D and you're detached. So it's still running in the background, um, which is what you want it to do. So it keeps on scraping the sites and posting any changes to you. So that's happening in the background. If you want to see all the different instances, because you can just then create multiple of these, you can just continue going. Screen S, Supreme, uh, and everything else. If you want to see all of them, uh, you do Screen Dash LS. Here, are all the all the monitors that are running right now. My Shopify, which is the one we just created. Soulbox, Shopify, Sneakers, Supreme. Um, if you want to then resume one of the sessions, maybe you want to see what's going on. So screen Dash R, not for resume, uh, and let's go back into my Shopify. And there we are, we're back in, and then we can leave, control A D. perfect. So here we go, now we've covered how you can use a Linux server to run your monitors. And we can not just run one monitor, but multiple monitors using the screen command. Uh, we used FileZilla to transfer files, uh, and we used some of the ideas we had in our previous video about how we edit .m files and uh, move into directories. In my next video, I'll cover how to even create your own Supreme Monitor. Uh, I'll cover how the My Supreme Monitor works and how you can create your own and the ideas behind that. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.